goal is to continue my progression of the Tour de France. Obviously, coming second last year, though, to go any better than that, it's um, we're going we go to July to to win the Tour. Yep. I see a team that rides with purpose and uh, and confidence much much more so than the last few years and uh, and uh, yeah a little bit uh, the results that we've done this year but also just with time working together and knowing each other we work much better together as a unit and yeah we'll be uh, on test in July. Last year also there wasn't a, an outright favourite to, to win, the, win the tour, but of course having Rabobank so strong and having the jersey for, for so long it made it, uh, as a GC rider, uh, slightly more predictable than in the past, but um, you know, the year before it was uh, unpredictable. Tour de France, as an individual, as a rider, you're one person. And there are about three million people here who want some of your time. <laughs> but uh, you've got no time or energy for uh, anyone but yourself nearly at the, at the tour, so it's, uh, that's the way it is. Beijing, I think it's a good course for me. Good conditions, good time of the year, and that for me is uh, a realistic goal for me to think of doing a result there. Yeah. done two Olympics in the past and yeah it's a little bit um, yeah it's strange uh, I, for some sports I, I don't know in other sports they maybe they work with their same coaches and so on for the whole period but for us we work with our professional team for four years for example and then go to the Olympics where apparently one of the biggest races of the year and yeah we're getting our legs massaged by someone we've never met before and a mechanic who's never seen our bike before is you know preparing our equipment and so on it's um Oh, that's one of the things you have to prepare for and yeah, part of going to the Olympics. So it's a very different environment.